December 4th, and we're riding in Fish Creek Park in Calgary. So just Morris and I on this ride. Say hello, Morris. Morris is shy. He doesn't want to talk. <laughs> so today's ride, we are headed over to the Ice Falls, which is sort of on the east side of the park. And uh, it's kind of cool. Like, you don't even really know it's there until you get to it. And it's really easy to ride right by it if you're not paying attention because it's kind of hidden. So here's a fun fact about Fish Creek Park. Fish Creek is actually a provincial park in the south end of Calgary. And it's the second largest inner city provincial park in Canada. It's actually three times larger than Stanley Park in Vancouver. So that's kind of interesting. This is where I fell in. This is, yeah, you fell in here last year in the creek. Just below this bridge. So if you're new to winter fat biking, you may have noticed these covers that we have on the handlebars for our hands. And they're known as pogies. And there's a lot of different types that you can buy, but they make a world of difference in warmth for your fingers. And you can actually wear like a really light glove, like what I've got on today. It's actually just a long fingered uh, summer glove. And that gives you better dexterity for your shifter and your brakes, your dropper post if you have one. Um, you can throw one of those hot paw hand warmer things or something inside these. And when it's cold out, it makes a world of difference in comfort. And that's a big thing when you're riding in the cold is being comfortable, but not being overdressed. I touched on that a couple of videos ago. And this is also part of it, is hand comfort. Tea time for you? Cider. Oh, the cider. Black currant cider. Whatever works, hey? Okay, lean on. Over the edge. Over the edge, exactly. <laughs> I kind of saw that coming. Do you need help? Right. Yeah, to the right. You all right? I can't wait to see how this is going to end. I would if you wanted Uh, 
haven't formed up very much yet. These little caves are pretty cool though. Yeah. Yeah, another month from now and this whole this whole hillside will be just all ice. You can hear the water flowing pretty good underneath here. It's kind of neat. Can't hear you. Right off the track for a second. It's like riding on kittens. <laughs> yeah, it's so smooth. Yeah. these little kittens are holding the tires up. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's just the crust that's forming on that. Yeah. I doubt that. Underneath layer is crust. I'm almost breaking through. Are your feet getting wet? So I did a video from Fernie about a month ago and in that video I had mentioned that the GoPro battery was going dead really fast and one of our followers at Pilot Leader left a comment that uh, there's now a GoPro Enduro battery available that's supposed to have way better cold performance. So, I took at Pilot Leader's advice and ordered a pair of those Enduro batteries. And we've been riding a little over an hour now. And uh, I've still got like 60% battery life. And the camera's been either on standby or filming that whole time. So this is a huge improvement over the original batteries that came with this GoPro 10. So if you are having issues with battery life, I would completely encourage you to get those Enduro batteries. So thanks for that tip. So many beaver dams on this creek.
That's a big crack. Did you hear that? <laughs>